Hey everybody, Scott Detweller here, and today we're going to talk about blending modes on this episode of Couch to Photoshop. Uh, so specifically, we're going to focus on the screen blending mode today. And there's a few blending modes that are, I'll say, more useful than others, and I want you to learn those core group of about five or so that we're going to use quite often. Uh, so I want to start with the screen blending mode because there are some things to this image that I think might be interesting alterations. So uh, I thought we would start there. Uh, so to begin, you're going to need more than one layer. Blending modes are a mathematical operation done between layers. Uh, so to do that, you can obviously click and drag the layer down into the new layer button and it will create a duplicate of it. Uh, or the way that we want to learn to do it is control J on our keyboard will duplicate the layer we're currently on or whatever we have selected. And you can do this a bunch of times if you want to. Uh, so I'm just going to create a duplicate there. And now you see we have the ability to create blending modes. So this, the screen blending mode is located in the second or third group down. Uh, and it is a, one of the very rare blending modes is actually named after its physical manifestation. So if you imagine both of these layers are loaded into projectors that are both projecting on the same screen, uh, you can imagine that the white parts from both projectors overlaying on the same image would make the image twice as bright. But black being projected by both images won't make anything more black. Uh, so black in a screen blending mode does nothing where white will brighten the image by effectively double. And that's what we see here. We see this image has gone from that to this. Now, this is a very handy way to correct underexposure. If you have a situation where you're trying to rescue something, it's a quick and easy way to do it. A photo restoration, multiply, which is the opposite of screen uh, and screen are both used uh, exclusively and exclusively substantially in that area. If this is too much, we can always lower the opacity and uh, until we find something we like. And then we say, there we go. I'm happier with this exposure. So uh, is that it? Is that all we're, all we're going to learn? Well, no, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with the screen blending mode. So first of all, let's talk about a trick to save hard drive space. We're up to 374 meg from this on this image now. And uh, one of the neat things that I don't know that a lot of people know is that any adjustment layer, like our good friend Hue and Saturation, which we played with last time, can be used to represent the image in its entirety. And so we set this to the screen money mode. We see we have the exact same result. And we didn't change anything here. We just used the adjustment layer. And you see our hard drive space is 187 meg. So the image is now back to pretty much what it weighed when we started. And uh, we can still adjust the opacity and do everything. We don't have to play with the hue and saturation adjustment layer at all. It just has to be there. Uh, normally, when you do this, you will try and use either curve or, le or level. Uh, I'll cover these in future episodes, but level allows you to basically affect the exposure, dark and uh, black points, white points, and the midpoints of, of what's going on. So uh, even if you did nothing and just left it there and used the screen function, you have the ability to go back and tweak the result using levels. So a very cool um, adjustment layer to use for an operation like adjusting the screen across the entire image. So you can use any adjustment layer you'd like, but levels and curves are probably your best choices for now. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do with this magical new capability? Uh, so uh, I like to be a little bit creative with it. In situations like this, I think it'd be nice to have some sun in the shot. Now you can do this inside of Photoshop. There's a uh, filter render lens flare, but I'll tell you this has been here for, I don't know, since the earth, curl, earth cooled. Uh, I don't really like it that much. I prefer to use some of these that are available online. So I purchased this one and I just dragged it into the image and I hit enter and uh, V so I can move it around because it's on a separate layer here. And uh, yeah, well, that's not very handy, is it? Well, what if we change to the screen blending mode? Remember, we talked about black has no effect. So we do this, we now have a sun. So we can move the sun around and put it in places on the screen where we think, wow, that looks really good. I think that looks legit. Uh, and it does because the, the sun wasn't about this position in the sky. You can tell by the, in her hair and in her dress on the ground, if there was a prominent shadow and so on, it doesn't look as good over here. It's still interesting, but it's not as good. Uh, I have another option uh, in the form of this one. And uh, we can make this one a little smaller. Uh, if you hold on your shift key, you can break the constraint. Um, or uh, if you don't, it'll be like that. That's actually a setting that's changed recently inside of Photoshop. 
Uh, but since many of you are new to Photoshop, you're going to notice that it's going to be constrained unless you hold down your shift key. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to change this to the screen blending mode. And oh, I'll just put it right here. What are the odds that he was able to get the sun right there? Oh my God, he's the best photographer ever. So cool little way to add some sun or two suns. Look, she's on an alien planet with two suns. How incredible was that? So anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, what else can we do this? This is fun. Uh, I One other thing I like to do is to add kind of like some atmosphere uh, to images. So I have this, uh, it's just a simple overlay. I think these are actually pictures of uh, snow um, as they're falling and you just use a uh, flash and they're not in focus, that simple. Uh, but you can also buy these online from companies that make overlays. You know, the, the 42,000 overlays, normally $210,000, but just $12 today for the next four hours, one of those groups. This, that's probably where this was purchased from. And a lot of those deals are actually pretty decent, uh, especially if they're higher quality items. But I will tell you that I'm not against paying $100 for a really fine set of overlays because you will get that money back in the long run. But shooting your own is also a lot of fun. So in this, in this case, I have this one here. I'm going to hit Control T to modify it. Uh, I'm going to free transform it. Uh, if you don't like that, you can use the hard way and go up to Edit, Free Transform. But that's two clicks we don't want to spend. And again, if you hold on your shift key, you can unconstrain it, but otherwise, um, I like to unconstrain it so I can snap into the corner. Uh, that way I know I have the whole thing covered. Hit enter and then change the blending mode to screen. And it adds these little sparks here. Now I do have one in her hair um, that I don't really like. This one here. If we turn the layer on and off, you can see it. Uh, so I don't like that. How do I get rid of that? Well, we can add a mask. We learned about masking in a previous episode, and I'll link that up above. Uh, so we can just click mask here, and now use a B for brush, and make sure it's black, and it's 100% opaque, and we just paint right over it. Uh, and so our wonderful mask now looks like this. We can do that to any of these uh, things that we don't like on the dress, if they find them distracting. Uh, like maybe that one, maybe this one. I don't know, I kind of like them. That's why I put it on there. So there you go a quick and easy way to add a little volume to the image. So that's the screen blending road. Remember, it makes anything white whiter, but anything black, it makes no changes. And anything in between, it makes a change based on how white or black it is. Uh, so very handy tool, very handy blending mode. And one of the core, say five or so, that we're gonna use a lot. So once again, if you like this video, please click the like button below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down there and I will get another video done here fairly soon. And we'll get you off that couch and into Photoshop as quick as we can. Take care.